Welcome to the compositing overview tutorial that explain how to compose a new scene from scratch. The first step when composing a scene is to load the required elements. For this tutorial, we will use a character and a shadow that we can find in the plus drawings folder of the current project and the background and the overlay that we can find in the plus extras folder. As you can see going in the animation room, when levels are loaded they are automatically exposed in the exposure sheet, one column for each level. Click and drag the column head to change the overlapping order. As we need to work in the exposure sheet, let's put it to full screen double clicking on its title bar. The level of the character and his shadow have to be exposed in the following way. They have to start from frame 16, as they will not be visible at the beginning of the scene. To do that, click the dark vertical strip available on the left of the cells, and drag them down, so that the levels start from frame 16. Some drawings have to be exposed for several frames, when the character is standing still. Select the two cells where the first drawing of the BTLV and BSHTLV animation levels are exposed. Then click and drag the fill handle to repeat the first drawing of each column up to frame 51. All the other drawings have to be exposed at step 2, as the animation was planned as a step 2 animation. Select all the cells where drawings from 2 to 34 are exposed and choose step 2 from the context menu. The walking cycle from 26 to 34 has to be repeated to have the character walking for the final part of the scene. Select, copy, and paste these drawings for seven times. The background and the overlay have to be repeated up to the end of the scene. Click and drag the fill handle to do that. Double click on the exposure sheet title bar again to get it back to the starting size. We are now ready to animate the scene elements. The first element to be animated is the main character that has to move to the left after he turns around. His shadow will be moved by linking it to the character. Go in the stage schematic and connect the shadow level to the character 1. The character has to stand still up to frame 118 until the turnaround movement is over and the character starts to walk. To define the character's starting position, select the Edit tool and create a key at frame 119, positioning him in the right place. Move to the frame number 259, and create the ending key, moving the character to the left. The speed of the interpolation between the two keys can be adjusted in the Function Editor panel. Select the East-West channel of the column where the character level is exposed, click on the animation curve, and set it to linear in with a Step 2 value, in order to keep it constant and to make it match the step of the animation. As you can see, playing the animation, the character slide on the floor. To avoid this problem, you can use the hook feature that allows the software to automatically calculate the movement of an object in the scene using the position of the hooks as a reference.
we have to select and delete the column keyframes. And use the replace level command to replace the BTLV level with another instance of the character where the hooks have been already added. Refer to the specific video tutorial to know how to apply the hooks. Note that, using the replace command, we don't need to adjust the level timing again. To see how the hooks are positioned, on the B level, we can just select the hook tool. The hook is positioned at the base of the foot resting on the ground. When one foot start moving, and the other rests on the ground, the hook have to be passed from one foot to the other. In order to allow tunes to use the hooks, to let the character move, you have to go in the stage schematic. Click and drag up the double arrow button to replace the B center with the 1, which means to use the hook 1 as center of the drawing. As you can see, the B level will suddenly change position, as the hook 1 will move to the center of the work area. Now we just need to position the character, where we want the movement starts, and animation is automatically created. The only keyframe on the column is the one we added to set the starting position. Reproducing the scene in the main viewer, we can observe that the walk of the character is more natural, and that it does not slide on the floor. To complete the scene we can add a camera movement. Go to the first frame, select the edit tool in the camera in the stage schematic. Scale down and position the camera box. At frame 46, Set the global scale at 100%, typing the value in the relevant field. We can check the animation from the camera point of view, clicking on the camera icon, in the main viewer. Thanks for your attention, and see you on the next video tutorial.